Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video is about why I dropped out of school. I ain't gonna hold y'all further, so let's get right to the video. It's your boy Linus Tommy. Let's go. So look, in this video, I'm gonna get straight to the point. The first thing I wanna talk about is when I was younger and how I felt about school when I was young. When I was younger, I wasn't the best. I wasn't the worst. I just did my work and that's it. Like I was, I was getting to the point where I only went to school just to see my friends or just to meet people or just to hang out. Like at that time, I just couldn't do with school. I didn't really give a fuck to be honest with you. Like I didn't care. And then like when I was growing up, like I still didn't, like I really tried to learn, but the teachers I had weren't helping at all. They literally give you some packets, give you some work to do and that's it. They don't teach you anything. Yeah, I had some good teachers. Like my favorite subject was history. And that's because the teachers I had were good. I even took AP history, you know? So like that just shows you something like the teachers, but like even though good teachers or bad teachers, I, I knew school wasn't for me. I didn't want to like do all this work, pay all this money just to do what work, whatever. Like I didn't even know I, what I wanted to do. And it's just, it was just hard. Like, that's just how it was. Like, even with Asian parents, like, they always push school heavily on you. They always want you to do good in school so you can have a good job. For me, that, that wasn't it, you know? Like, I get it. Like, they came to America so their kids can do, go to school, and do good in school so they can have a job. The opportunity they didn't get to have. I understand that. But like, for me, school was not it. As much as I tried, as much as I like tried my best, it, it wasn't for me. And when I was growing up, like I didn't know what to do because if school wasn't it, then what would you do, right? Well, I thought like I was gonna do like gaming. I thought I was gonna do other stuff, but there's one thing that I always wanted to do and that was YouTube. Like for the longest I wanted to do YouTube. Ever since I was like 14, 15, I always watched these YouTubers, you know, like they're living their life. That's crazy, right? That's tough. That's crazy. They're living their life. And when I watch these YouTubers, they always help me, you know, they always help me smile. They always help me get through rough times and, and just something to watch because coming home from school, I either play games or watch YouTube. I did my homework at school or later on in the night, but sometimes I just couldn't do it because it was hard. So I just gave up on it. But like these YouTubers really just helped me. And that's exactly what I want to do. I want to help the, I want to help other people. I want to just be someone's idol. You know, that, that's crazy, but hey, off topic, whatever. Let's get back to the topic. Yee. So now I'm going to talk about my high school stage. In high school, I was like, I'm going to do good in school. You know, maybe it's different. It's different from middle school. I'm gonna do good in school. Freshman year, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all freshman year was one of the worst years for everything. Like I was, I was so bad in school. Like I didn't even care. Like I literally would just be, I would be in the, in the fucking, in the classroom playing Madden Mobile or playing Clash of Clans, you know, like I didn't care. Or I would be talking to my friends because I knew there was nothing I'm gonna learn out of this. So I just gave up. But then, you know, like junior year came and shit. I had to get my shit together because I wanted to graduate, you know, like I wanted to like do something with my life. So I got my shit together. I learned, I knew school wasn't for me, but I still tried. And that's what the only thing that matters. So I did good in junior year. I did good in senior year. But then I was to the point where I almost didn't graduate because I was horrible at math. Yeah, I'm Asian and I'm horrible at math, whatever, right, fuck. But then I still passed. I got my diploma, I graduated high school. What's next? College. Let me tell you something. I thought I was gonna find some, find, find what I wanna do in college and major in it and whatever. Nah. Once I got into college, I knew like I'm done with school. I did one semester and after that semester, I dropped off. I dropped out. What can you do? Like, I literally, 
it was too stressful. It was like something like, I'm not gonna gain out of this. I know I'm not gonna get a job out of high school. The best I was gonna graduate out of high school, that's it. I mean, not high school, what the fuck? College, I was gonna graduate out of college. That's it, get a degree and then what? Get a simple job? Like, no, that wasn't for me. And then like, I, when I dropped out, I knew like I had to do something. I wasn't just gonna be a bum playing games and shit. So luckily I had good friends. They had this job at this retirement home. I got hired and mind you, I still have Asian parents. They're like, oh, you got a job. Are you still doing school? And I told them straight up, no, I'm not. And at first they were super mad at me, like straight up, they were mad. But then they started to realize like, I'm actually working. Like I'm actually getting money. I would go to work every day and come home. Fuck around, go to work, come home. They didn't like that, but that's just what it is. They, they knew like I was a hard worker in heart. So I was working part-time at this retirement home. And then finally, you know, I had an opportunity to become full-time and become actually one of like a manager there. So that's exactly what I did. I'm a dining room coordinator. I've just managed all the servers there and it's been good. It's been good right now. Like right now, like right now, I don't really have to worry about nothing. I have a good job that pays okay. Like I know I don't want to do this forever. And the main, the main, the main reason, the main point of this video is why I dropped out. The reason why I dropped out because I knew school wasn't for me. And for anyone out there, I know there's not many people who are gonna watch this, but like, you're not alone. You really aren't. There's plenty. There's more than you think out in this world that are in the same position as you. Think about it. We're in 2020 right now. There's so many options besides school. You can literally be rich other than school. Now I'm not saying like everyone just drop out and find something like, no, if school's for you, school's for you. I'm talking about for the people who you think. The people who I think, people, people who think basically, people who think school isn't for them. Just do it. What is there to lose? Just make sure you have a plan. That's all. Make sure you have a plan. Like for me, I'm doing full time right now, but I also am doing YouTube. I started my channel in July, but I know for a fact I'm going to make it on this platform. It's been my dream since I was 15, 16. My, my name, look at my name. My name is Limitless Tommy. There's no limit. I'm not stopping. Even though I make it, even though I, I reach a certain goal, I'm gonna keep going and going and going and going until I physically can't do it anymore. That's my name, Limitless Tommy. There's no fucking limit. Anyways, back to the fucking point. I don't know, I'm off topic right now. School isn't for everyone. If it's not for you, don't worry. There's a journey, there's a plan for you. And there's a reason, everything happens for a reason. You do something, that's a reason. It happens for a reason. Just do it, just do you. Don't listen to anyone. And just have fun with your life. Don't always be stressful like, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? Think about tomorrow, tomorrow's a new day. Just do it. It was very hard for me to drop out of school because I was stuck. That was one of the darkest times in my life because if I drop out of school, what am I gonna do? You know, I was just stuck for a few months. But then an opportunity came and I took it. Opportunities do come to you. You just gotta know when and how to take it. Yeah. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I had to say, and if you just wanna see me grow as a person, subscribe. Leave a like and comment down below. Just anything, bro. It'll help me, it'll motivate me to even work hard. Even though I have like one comment, one subscriber, whatever, I'm still gonna push out videos. I'm still gonna work hard because this is what I wanna do full time. I want to do this shit. Peace.